Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Chamax Cards and Breaks. Got two breaks happening tonight. Uh, first one's going to be the 1920 Upper Deck Artifacts. Hockey, of course. 10 box break, H550. Followed by the 1920 Upper Deck uh, Trilogy. Uh, 10 box break, H615. So H550 first, followed right after by H615. So a little Artifacts. And then a little uh, Trilogy action. We had some... Uh, we had one break, other scheduled for tonight. It was SP, what was it, SPX or something like that? Or whatever it was. I had to move it till tomorrow. Uh, There's a couple of people asked if I could move it tomorrow, and I said yes. So it happened tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, hello, Johnny. How's it going? Everyone's doing well. Hope the same for you. Um, yeah, so just a little house cleaning stuff. So yeah, got uh, first of all, welcome to the break. Again, we always say this, I appreciate your business, and we appreciate your patience while we fill the breaks up and get them scheduled in. It's been really busy lately. Um, on this third line down here, we have what's breaking tonight in order. And then also we have all uh, f three more um, 1920 um, Upper Deck Artifacts breaks on uh, eBay and the website. And we also have two more uh, of the Trilogy. And those break numbers are going to be scrolling across here as we do the break. So if you want some more Trilogy Artifacts, you can find it on eBay or the website. Uh, we do have our daily discount code for the day. That's scrolling across the top of the screen. That code word today is Batman. Uh, Batman will get you 5% off any and all orders for the next 24 hours at chamaxcards.com. We also have our first time discount code word of chamax2020. That will get you 10% off your very first order. Uh, the reason why uh, it's at Batman because it looks like there may be a plan in place to get some hockey going. Uh, they're selecting four cities possibly. And um, yeah, so. Uh, hey, no, you know, Artifacts is out. <laughs> 1920. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, besides that, um, all of our breaks are on eBay and the website. They are synced together. Buy one off one, shows in the other, vice versa. Discount code words only good on the website. Um, we do ship out once a week up to Sunday, meaning all the breaks up to Sunday go out the following week. Uh, so meaning all the breaks this week will go out next week in regular Canada post, unless you want something shipped with tracking and or insurance, then you need to email us at chamaxcards at gmail.com, which is in the chat stream there. That's the email address. And we need to know that before uh, Monday morning. If you do want that, then we just charge you. It's very little uh, for tracking. It's like $15, but we can't do tracking for everybody because 15 times 30, do the math. We would be living in a box. <laughs> so uh, uh, excited for this. Hope for something good. So I'm hoping for something good for you as well. Uh, good evening, Peter, to you as well. So yeah, so little um, little artifacts action. Ten boxes of artifacts. Um, with this product, all whoops, all cards go out. One box is going to be. Things are falling. Um, with this product, uh, I was saying all cards go except for the uh, standard um, uh, veteran base cards. So all the, everything else goes out. There's a lot of hits in this. So, 1920 artifacts. Let's make it look nice and pretty. Bam. Looking good now. Looking smart. There you go. Let's get to it. Why not, eh? 1920 artifacts. Unbelievable hits. Look at this. Including three autographs. Memorial, Orem, Bounty Cards, Rookie Redemption. Lots of stuff happening. So, again, owners on the left. Teams are there. Uh, we only had one unsold spot for this. I uh, always like to point that out. Uh, the Rangers. There's an unsold spot. No one wanted it. The lowly Rangers. What's wrong with the Rangers, you know? So we're going to do for each one of these boxes like we always do. We're just going to rip open the packs, put them in a little stack, and then uh, go through them. Do this for most breaks who have multiple packs. For other ones, we do it pack by pack, depending on the product. Depending on the product, so... Figure each one of these will take roughly half an hour. Give or take. Again, if you're here for trilogy, that is next. Hey Corey, I just got back from work. I worked from eight o'clock until six, and I'll get to my emails in the evening. I usually get to the emails late in the evening, uh, especially lately. It's been so busy. So, uh, like I said, a lot of you know this is not what we do all day. Essential service work. Take care of the public. Just kidding. Well, I do actually essential service works, but it's nothing. It's, it's nothing honorable. Anyways, okay, so Corey, I'll get you email tonight. Uh, so here we go. Let's do this. So um, these are the base cards. First one, Pierre-Luc Dubois. 
a uh, little um, relic card there for Columbus. Ryan M. Some more base. Alexander Texier for Blue Jackets. Rookie card, 188 out of 299. Another Columbus card. Columbus hitting on all cylinders. Ryan M. You're welcome, man. You are so welcome, Corey. Wainard, 69.99 on the Emerald Cards. In his LA gear, Scott C. Some of the Orem cards. Steven Stamkos. Tampa Bay. Richard P. Thanks, Corey. Okay. Uh, Ovechkin, 228 at 699. Washington, Daniel G. Ooh, we have a rookie redemption. We've got a rookie redemption for Montreal. So, Montreal, Martin B. There you go. You got yourself a rookie redemption card. Unknown which one. It'll be something. Milan Lucic, patch. Nice patch, actually. 6 out of 65 for Edmonton. Kent K. Oops. Nico Heshire for 14 and 699 for the Devils. Daryl S. How's it going, Daryl? And that will do it for box number one. Box number two. Coming up. So Andrew, I say you have you see you have uh you have there you have Vegas. Is that correct? Yeah, Andrew J. and they're Vegas. Sometimes people, like, they say stuff in the chat, but then they're using a different name, and then they break, so I don't really know who to cheer for. I always try to cheer for uh, all of you, but especially people who are in the chat. Let's see if I can give you some extra good luck mojo. So again, everyone, this is 1920 Artifacts 10 Box Break H550. We are doing the Trilogy 10 Box Break next. The SPX break as we move till tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Just FYI on that one. So, trilogy is next. We're doing two breaks tonight because, well, it's busy. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. Here we go. Box number two. Good luck. So, let's do it. Craig Anderson, five, uh, 51, sorry, out of 85 for Ottawa. Peter C. There you go, Peter. Cody Glass or a nice flurry card. Okay. M uh, uh, Miko, Mantan. 250 to 399 for Colo Duretto. Colorado is uh, Anja L. Spot holder. Oh, nice. Year one rookie sweaters for Petey. Nothing wrong with that. A little Vancouver hit. Here, this is our favorite team for Shane B. Malkin, Gino, 455-699 for Pittsburgh, Dan R. Uh, so, you know, with this product, probably with with a full 10 box, um, probably everyone will end up getting hit, which is nice. Oh, a little uh, auto for Anze, 8 out of 10. Boom. 8 out of 10, LA King, Scott C. And rookie redemption for the Capitals. That spot is Daniel G. Uh, Zach Sension, 709 and 999 for Bruins. Randy G. Casey Middlesat, year one rookie sweaters for Buffalo. Brent M. And Jonathan Huberdu, that's just a base card. Uh, anyone know if Upper Deck is processing redemptions right now? I, I have not phoned myself, so I would not know. Uh, hopefully, it's in. And hey, Aaron, um, they don't, uh, with they do like all the hits get sent, but the standard veteran just base cards aren't because they're worth uh, they're worth nothing, um, really. But if you do want them, uh, Aaron, give me an email chamaxcards.gmail.com. And we will uh, we can extract those for you. And if you really, really want them, that's not a problem. But most 90% of the breakers don't want them. And like I said, it's, it's, it's also for shipping reasons. That's how we keep our shipping free and our prices low. Um, we give away all the base cards, as a lot of people know. We give away the charities. Um, that's what we do with them. We don't sell them. But if you want them, let them know. 
A seven five six A five Vincent. When will they be broken live? Um, give me one second. Let's look at this. If they're not scheduled, that means they're, if they're under five, then we'll schedule them, or they're going to be imminently in, imminently scheduled. Uh, let me double check those. One second. A756 and A757. We did some tribute a couple days ago. And 756 and 757. So what I'm doing right now, see what well, I can well, I can look at my database, it's a bit different, but I can go to chamaxcards.com and you can go into the little eyeglass on the top right. And you can put A756 in there and bam, lo and behold, it'll come up. It'll show you that it's got 10 spots left. And you know you can buy them from there too. And A757 also has 10. So there you go. That's going to answer your question. There's 10 spots left in each. So once we get below five, we'll schedule them in and send everyone an email with the date and time. That's how she worked. Uh, okay, so here we go. Box number three. Uh, Tage Thompson, rookie sweaters for St. Louis. And I got uh, Rantan again, 200 out of 309. Nice. Uh, Anja L. Vasilevsky for Lightning, 4285 for Tampa Bay. Richard P. Uh, oh, nice. Macker for uh, Colorado, 68.99. Little rookie patch auto. Nice hit. Good one for Anja. Bam. And you're welcome, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> More than welcome. Uh, Nico, 427 out of 699 for Devils. Daryl S. Another year one rookie sweaters. Uh, another hit for Petey. Shane B. And we have a wild card rookie redemption. So you know what this means, everybody. When this is a wild card rookie redemption, we're going to have to um, randomize this off at the end of the break, which we will do. So we put that guy there. There you go. So that will have to be randomized, and everyone's going to have a chance of getting the wild card rookie redemption because we have no idea if it's a wild card who it would go to. Blake Wheeler, 15 out of 299 for Winnipeg. Aaron J. And that does it for that box. Move this over just a little bit, and that a little bit. There you go. All right, next box, everybody. Yeah, it was a nice Kopitar pull. Anyways, hope everyone's off to, you know, let's see what day is Wednesday day, right? I don't even know what day it is, you know. Between breaking and work, it's busy. Um, told most of you guys this, since everything happened, the little breaking company has been very busy because busy, I guess people are at home and there's no sports. So we've got a lot of First timers participating in breaks, and uh, it's fun. It's good to see. Oh, the boys are here. So I always mention the junior breakers. So I've mentioned uh, we got uh, Chase is here sorting. Max is. Oh, I'm not sure Max is behind me. Uh, where's the boys? Ask them to say hi or super califragilistic espialidocious. Okay, so I think they probably didn't say hi. So go ahead, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I was supposed to use uh, Horse Shack as the next uh, yeah. discount code. I will use Horshack uh, tomorrow. I, you have my word. I will use it. I, you have my word, but it's... Uh, if I forget, then you won't. But I'll try my best to remember. All right, next one. JBR for the Flyers. Ben Bishop, 61 and 99 for Dallas. Switch your P. Uh, Ansimov, Ansimov, 37 and 299 for Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks, Ryan T. There's a flurry, 38 out of 125. Oh, Curtis, hey, John, I'm not listening. Sorry, uh, the, the those two breaks, um, Curtis, are both at 10 teams left. So when we get under five, we'll, we'll get breaking on them, but they both have 10 teams left. You can always check by going to the website and typing in this uh, break number, and you'll see how many teams are left and which ones, and you can buy them from there too and all that stuff. Anyways, hey, Flurry, uh, 38125. There you go, Andrew. Bam. Enthusiastic. Yeah, total enthusiastic. Hey. Hey. Well, they'd be busy today, you know what I mean? Like, you know, busy with no school, not doing anything else. You know. 
you know, it's, it's tough to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Zach Sanchez, 982 to 999, Boston, Randy G. It's tough being 18 yeah, and uh, 16. What do you say? I know you got schoolwork. I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, here's a nice hit for uh, Vancouver. Auto patch, Brock Besser, 1 out of 25. I'm liking it. Andrew J. Sorry, not Andrew J. Shane B. I'm <laughs> Andrew, you're Vegas, not Vancouver. Uh, we uh, Look, another wild card redemption. We got two. There we go. So you know what we're doing with those. And randomize it off at the end of the other break. Bill Ranford, 545 out of 599. Fredmonton, Kent K. So there you go. So I need another one of these. And we can put one over here. There we go. There, two of them now. I should move this a little bit more. There you go. Use the space. Okay, there you go. All right, so we've got two wild card redemption cards. We're going to be two separate randomizations. Everyone's going to get a spot. Well, how many, you know, every team has a spot. More teams you get, the better chance you get at getting them. All right. Next box. <laughs> I'll, take, yeah, I'll take Vancouver. I don't think uh, Shane would be happy if we just gave, gave you Vancouver since it's... One of the more expensive teams, obviously, in 1920 products because of one particular player named Quinn Hughes. Oh, another thing Batman said today that it might hold the draft in, was it June? Still? The draft is before the season. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, anyways, we'll see. It's everything. It, no one really knows, right? That's what they're going to... No one knows. Evaluate how the NFL draft goes. NFL draft is tomorrow. That's what Chase was saying. Yeah. Blake Wheeler, 89 and 165 for Winnipeg. Aaron Jay. It's have to be. It have to be a virtual draft, obviously. I think not. You know, online. Uh, Mike Zimmerman, Rangers, 1845. I think this is going to be going to Chase H. Hey, we got a card. I rather sold the spot. <laughs> Dylan Larkin, 164 299. Thomas J. Oh, you bought the Synergy Vancouver spot? Okay, there you go. So you, at least you're, you got a Vancouver spot coming up. Sebastian Aho for the Hurricanes. Two out of 99. Carolina. Chad B. Patches. Okay, so nice little stack here. Philippe Myers, 349 out of 999. Myers for the Flyers. Ryan M. Ryan Pooling, 39 out of 45. Nice patch, dual patch auto for Montreal. Martin B. And this time we have a Carolina rookie redemption. Going to Chad B. Jonathan Quick, 66 out of 399 for Scott C. LA Kings. And there we go. Okay. Moving along. Dense here. Condense the unit. There we go. Looking good. Uh, Peter, I, you, I will get a well. Okay, well, that's, I like the, it's positive thinking. There's two of them. So, and you never know. Yeah, that could be something that's a wild card rookie redemption. You never know. You never know. It could be worth nothing. It could be worth something. It could be worth a lot. Worth a little. All right, so this is box, what box are we on here? That was, this is box, what, six, right? Six, seven, eight, yeah, this is box six. So back half the break, and just so everyone who's just joining us, we are doing Trilogy next, uh, whatever break numbers that is, H615 is next, 10 box Trilogy. Uh, SPX break that was scheduled for tonight is to be moved till tomorrow night uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific time. All of our times, every post times, our Pacific had somebody email me a couple hours ago. Said, "Hey, I can't find the artifact, or was it artifacts or trilogy break? I can't find the artifacts or trilogy break." I'm like, "Yeah, it happens in two hours." Um, Athanaso for the Red Wings. Kyle Turris, 88 out of 99 for Nashville. Uh, Paul V. Hello, Paul. Paul's awesome. Fills in a lot of breaks for us. Mike Medano, 292 to 599 for Dallas. Richard P. I know he usually supplies teams. Probably doesn't want just to make a break happen, which we appreciate. Uh, here's uh, Macker again, an Orem card for Colorado. Uh, Anja L again. Anja just had some good hits tonight. 
Uh, Pecorine, 13 of 299 for Nashville. Paul V. Paul, another hit. Hit now. Holy crap, here's another wild card rookie redemption. We got three of them. There you go. There you go, here's another one. So three of them now. We're going to be here all night <laughs> randomizing. Uh, Mitch Marner, 62 to 165 for the Leafs. Little patch card. Nice hit. Uh, Michael P. Curtis Joseph, 19 and 59. Another TO, Michael P. And then Libor Hijek of the Rangers, uh, 5 out of 199. It's going to Chase H, which is us, by the way, because no one wanted that spot. Could have had it. Uh, Corey, you got to, here, let me, as I do this, I will answer your question. I don't collect hockey, so what's the best product for the top dollar rookie cards? Okay. National Treasures, National Treasures does not make, uh, you're right, does not make um, the hockey stuff. Panini doesn't make anything for hockey, I don't think. No. no. So, if you're looking for the, in hockey world, and here people are watching the hockey guys, so they'll vouch for this. The, the rookie card, like the rookie card, like people, rookie cards for players is going to be found in upper deck series one and series two. There's uh, two series of them. They split uh, the top rookies between the two and they're called young guns, young guns, rookies, and they have a canvas card. It's like a kind of a, a textured card, but the young guns are known as in hockey world as like the, the official rookie card. It has been four years um, and years. So if you look at like a rookie card of, of Crosby, it's known to be the 2000, what, six, five, six, right? And Ovechkin, 2006, five, you know, young guns. And they come in Upper Deck Series 1 and 2. The next set that has really good rookies is SP Authentic. Upper Deck SP Authentic. Uh, those ones are can be autoed. And they are known to be, again, probably the second most desirable for like uh, rookies. The National Treasures. Okay, yeah. and then, yeah, Corey. Now, if you're looking... Yes, it's, thanks, Chase. Yeah. If you're looking at the top end, the top end, the national treasures of hockey, it's called The Cup. Um, so, The Cup, Upper Deck, The Cup. They come in six box. Uh, it's a six box case. Uh, each case has one tin in it. Inside the tin is one pack, and I think each pack has eight cards? Eight cards, six cards? We're doing one. Um, just so you know. Uh, let me just take a little pause here. I know everyone's trying to just get to the break, but it's okay. You can relax. We do have one scheduled for tomorrow. If it happens, right? It's, it's supposed to come. Anyway. I'm still waiting for that to come. It's 16-17, the cup. And it's a six-box break. And 16-17 is a huge year because uh, there's a Marner's car, Marner card in there and a Matthews card, and we've pulled some before, that are worth literally fifteen to $30,000. So um, the case of six uh, is, is it's expensive. It's almost $10,000. To buy it, but uh, so it's not cheap. The Toronto spots are really expensive. Uh, Libor Hajik of the Rangers, 126 to 499, going to Chase H. But yeah, so the cup is the premier product. Patrick Hornquist, 36 out of 85. No problem, Corey. And yeah. I got the haircut. And yep, Chase got the haircut. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that <laughs> Jamie Ben, 412 at 699 for Dallas. Local boy. Local yeah, so if you heard that, um, <laughs> if you heard that, yeah, uh, Peter, yeah, Chase got the haircut. Didn't it not bullish? Thank you, thankfully. Uh, PD, uh, for Vancouver, a hint of bull. Uh, Max got his haircut, like I said, we told that last week. He just used uh, 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 clippers. Well, Chase Chase actually cut his hair, used clippers, uh, lowest guard, low, what one it is, and just let her rip, man. <laughs> Adric the Rangers, 117 and 299. I myself, we're gonna need a haircut soon, but we'll see. Uh, Yaroslav Halak, Boston Bruins. That's a nice little auto, a little Boston auto. Randy G. This stack is getting much too large. And there would have been an auction for the Rangers, it just didn't sell. Yeah, sorry, I can't. Okay, was there supposed? I, sometimes, okay, look. Sometimes we do auction teams off. Sometimes we'll just leave them up. The auctions are no benefit to you as an existing breaker because we start the auction. We start the auctions at the asking price. Uh, we do that for a simple fact to keep the integrity of the break together. So they would start at the asking price. So really for you, it would be better for one of our existing breakers to buy one of the spots after we email you using one of our discount codes on the website. You'll get it for cheaper than you would if you're at auction. But they don't get auctioned at one at one dollar. I even put that in all the emails. If we do an auction, it'll start at the asking price. A lot of the hockey stuff I'll let rip until the end because we're hockey lovers, right? So we'll keep it. Um, with randomized spots, um, it's a bit different. We don't do that. 
um, with randomized dice swaps, we'll actually make sure we sell them all. And if we don't, um, we'll usually, we have a lot of good, you're all good customers. We have a couple of customers who are, you know, top end and spend a lot of money. We'll give those out for free usually sometimes because we don't want to be owning random spots ourselves. But in this case, you know, when I do change the cards, make sure a bunch of rangers come out. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So what's this here? We got a rookie relic redemption, gold jersey. This is empty randomized as well, right? Right. So there you go. So another another randomization of rookie gold jersey card. So there you go. Cool. So yes. So just so yeah, just a little hint for everyone. It's cheaper to buy them before four three four to five nine nine uh, for Pittsburgh. But if it's a product I really don't care about, especially maybe it's a really expensive one. Uh, say it's expensive baseball or expensive football, and like wow, you know I don't want to get stuck with a six seven dollar spot. Then we'll put up for auction, but we will start it just at the asking price. That's I've been doing. I've done that for since the day we started. It's a way to maintain the integrity of the pricing, so people don't think, well, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'll wait for everything to go auction. Um, it's not fair to the other breakers. And I know our prices are good. If you've got a problem with our price, you can always email us at jamaxcards@gmail.com. But I know our pricing is good. Um, sometimes we have to adjust it up or down. Sometimes, and we'll do that to keep things market friendly. But yeah. But well, there you go, Kent. But yeah, we're hockey lovers, so if I get stuck with a team once in a while, it's okay. But yeah, my advice is once I send that email out and it says, hey, these are the teams left, get use a discount code word. They give them out every night and go to the website, buy it, save yourself 5%, own it, enjoy it, love it. All right, everyone. So we are moving on here. These I know these stacks aren't even because I didn't do it even. Vincent Hinestroza for uh, Arizona. Stephen B. Auto. Rookie redemption for Florida. That's straight up for Florida. Dylan M. Ovi two thirty one and six ninety nine. Washington Daniel G. This is a bigger stack. These are not even. I did not put them even. Uh, Athanaso for the Detroit. Little patch card. Oh, uh, Svechnikov, uh, 13 out of 20. Low number, purple. Carolina. Chad B. Trent Frederick, 141 out of 399 for Boston. Randy G. What's this here? I haven't seen one of these. Tundra teammates, duos, Stammer and Kucherov. 15 and a 199. Tundra teammates for Tampa Bay. Richard P. Max Domi, 102 to 399. Montreal, Martin B. All right, we're getting to the end, but hey, we have four randomizations to do. So we have three, what, three wild card rookie redemption cards, and then we have a rookie relic redemption um, jersey. So we're going to do four randomizations quickly at the end of this break. And then we are going to get, if you're here for Trilogy, that is next. Uh, that's break number H615. That will be next after this. And if you're here for SPX, I can't remember what break number was, but we originally had scheduled for tonight as well. That is we move till tomorrow at 6. An email did go out earlier today, a few hours ago, to inform everyone of such change. It doesn't really affect anything. All of our cards... For this week, go to next go out next week anyway, so it doesn't really affect it. And um, yeah. All right, so box number nine. We're getting to the end here, everybody. Max Jones, one seventy seven to forty nine. For the Ducks, Peter C. Hey Peter, there you go. Another hit for you. John the Quick, one forty three to three nine nine. L A. Scott C. Zach McEwen, a little auto patch. One out of 15. Zach McEwen for the Canucks. Shane B. There you go. Nice. It's turning out to be actually a decent player. Kyle Poso, 87.99 for Buffalo. Brent M. Second stack. Bernie Nichols, 583 to 599 for LA. Scott C. Uh, Rookie sweaters for Jordan Greenway of Minnesota. Not very many Minnesota hits. Michael H. There you go. I got one, though. First one. There you go. See? Josh Bailey, the Islanders. 227, 299. Not many Islanders hits either. 
<laughs> First hit, Robert S. <laughs> uh, another rookie redemption for Florida. Florida's been a good spot for rookie redemption. That's Dylan M. Okay, everyone. This is going to lead us to the last box of 1920 artifacts. Then don't go anywhere because we got four randomizations we're going to do. That is an empty box. FYI. Don't get too excited. It's not an extra box. Got 23 million people watching us right now. 23 million. Drop the million. That's all we have. It's actually one of our highest, yeah. yeah, you, yeah. you don't usually get 23 live viewers. Usually our, our videos by the time they run their course, 200 to 300 views. It's like, yeah. I know we're not that exciting. It's only really exciting. Well, for some people, if you're in the break, it's exciting. For some people, you like watching it, which I think is cool. Okay, box number 10, the final box in H550. Let's do it. Jake Gensel, 71 and 165. Penguins, Dan R. Barzell, 316 and 699. Now the Islanders' hits are coming. Robert S. Oh, Connor McD. This is nice. Six, six out of 99. A little patch for Connor McDavid. Kent K. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. You can buy that for a dollar. Last sack. Thomas Tatar, 124 299 from Montreal. Martin B. And, well, why not? One more randomization, dude. Autographed rookie redemption card. There you go. So it's another one. Put that one right there. Five to do now. Uh, another rookie redemption. Uh, for Winnipeg, Aaron J. So that's where that goes there. And Clayton Keller, 306 out of 699. That's, that's it. That's for Anaheim, Peter C. And the relics, they, they, well, they are, but you don't know which ones they are, right? So uh, they're numbered. Four, nine. Sadly, we've always randomized these ones off. We'll double check. We'll do that. What we'll do first, you guys. Uh, it yeah, it doesn't say anything about any yeah, team on it. Say yeah, our rule is if a card has no team on it, guys, it's, it, it, it's just our rule. It's, it's been there for years. Um, it, it, we randomize it, off, randomize it off. We don't make an assumption um, after the fact. Some of these breaks are, are, are posted before any official checklists are up as well. So it's not fair. Again, so yeah, it's a randomization. That means everyone's got to crack at it. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do the three. Just so you know, because I'm not going to be off camera here. So we're going to do the three wildcard rookie redemptions first. Okay? It'll be three randomizations. We're going to do the autographed rookie redemption second. Or like, you know, fourth. And the um, jersey redemption um, fifth. So let's do this here. I'll talk you guys through it so it's not confusing. So what we do, I'm going to here. And just give me one second. I got to do one thing. One second. I just gotta get a tab in here open because I forgot that this is always a. We use random.org. I'm gonna show these guys. I'm gonna show this all to you live. There's no messing around. Okay, so go back in here. Okay, so we're gonna take all these names here. Okay. I'm going to make it fair. If it, anything lands on uh, Chase H, I'm going to do one extra go at it. Uh, we're not going to take any of these cards. It's the only fair way to do it. So you go to random.org. Here we go. So list randomizer. We're going to put the names in here. We're going to randomize this list three times. One. There's all the names there. Randomize once. Timestamp IP address. We're doing it twice. Now the next time we do it, this is going to be the one of the wild card rookie redemptions. So first wild card rookie redemption goes to Brent M. Mark it down. Brent M. Brent M. gets one of the wild card rookie redemptions. We're going to randomize this again three more times. One, two, and bam. Next wild card rookie redemption goes to Stephen B. Stephen B. Another wild card rookie redemption. Now this is for the third wild card rookie redemption. One, 
two, three. Thomas J gets the third wild card rookie redemption. Now we're doing the autographed, the autographed rookie redemption. Autographed rookie redemption. One, two, three. Going to Daryl S. So Daryl S. Autographed rookie redemption XI. Final one. This is going to be the rookie relic redemption gold jersey dash jersey. Three times randomizing this. One, two, three. Ryan M. Ryan M. gets a rookie relic redemption gold jersey dash jersey. I'm reading right an uh, IV. So there you go. So that is all five done completely random. We actually re really, if you know math, you could actually randomize them once. It wouldn't matter. Um, it, yeah, it wouldn't matter. That's how, if you know math and statistics, it doesn't matter how many times you randomize it because every time it is individually, you can randomize it a thousand times or once. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you always do it three times. You've always done it that way. So there you go, everybody. That's that break. So give me one second. We're going to uh, get set up for the uh, trilogy break. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. Thanks for all the questions. Um, all you guys, that's awesome. We'll see you in like one second and then just get, turn the audio off and get ready for the next break. One second. All right, there we go. Uh, Hendrix, yeah, next break. Thank, you're welcome. We thank you guys. We wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. We would have nothing to break if you guys didn't buy any breaks. <laughs> so uh, now, breaking. 2019-20 Upper Deck Trilogy Hockey. 10 box break, H615. You guys, I know some people say, why do you put hockey there? Some people are first-time breakers. They don't they don't know Trilogy is hockey, right? So just so you know, I know it's redundant. But, hey. So 1920 Trilogy. I think this might be the first 1920 trilogy we've done. I'm not sure. Maybe. Regardless. This product, again, all cards go out except for the vet standard veteran base cards. I like trilogy. I always have. Little Wayne on the front. Little Wayneard. So again, I'm just going to do my quick spiel again here. Uh, I always like to do it before the break so everyone knows has the same information. Uh, so now breaking, 10 box break, H615, a trilogy. We do have a couple more of these available on the website. They're scrolling right here, actually. Um, uh, 615, and there's actually two of them. Actually, I'm not sure why it's missing one, but anyways, it doesn't matter. You can find them on the website and eBay. Uh, all of our breaks are listed on eBay and the website. You buy one off one, shows another. Uh, discount code's only good on the website. Speaking of discount codes, discount code today is Batman. Uh, gets you 5% off for the next 24 hours until... 6 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Any and all order. We have our first time discount code word of Chamax 2020. That gets you 10% off. If you've never ordered from a website before, you can load your card up. Chamax 2020 discount code, 10% off. Ship out once a week up to Sunday, meaning all breaks this week up to Sunday. Go out next week. They go out in the regular Canada Post. If you want something shipped with tracking or insurance, you need to email us before Monday or Sunday night. So by Monday morning at chamaxcards at gmail.com. There you go. How about, how's that? Fast enough? <laughs> There you go. But I have to say it because I want to say it before um, every break. So I'm consistent in the messaging. All right. So owners on the left. Mike S., you got a lot of teams there. Again, one thing I did me didn't mention about the shipping. Uh, if you get lots of teams and it doesn't fit in a regular envelope, we will cover the tracking for you free O charge. All right. Trilogy time. Moves back a little bit. So Trilogy, it's the same kind of um, setup with, um, as artifacts, we're open each pack, each stack again here and end up with two stacks. These are really hard to open. Um, for Trilogy, so it's a similar setup to artifacts. These packs are a lot more difficult to open 
than the artifacts. So be very careful. Pretty good at this. You don't get the edges wrecked or anything like that. Uh, yes, uh, the discount codes will not work on eBay, just the website. Uh, sellers don't have the option to use discount code words on eBay. At least they haven't yet. They might. We are actually, some people know this, we, are we as Chamax Cars, are working with eBay, their card division, on making, breaking a better experience on eBay. Uh, this is something they just started with us pre-COVID, like literally a week before everything hit the fan. So it's kind of on, maybe not really on hold, but we'll be doing more of it. And that's one of the things... Uh, I brought up, I'd say, just as a regular seller, can we use, you know, can we give discount codes? And he said they look into it. Anyway. All right, box number one, little trilogy action. Um, these are the base cards, just so you know. Uh, rookie renditions, Trent Frederick for Boston. Again, these aren't, we'll call out any interesting cards here. They're numbered. Uh, Philip Myers, uh, 758 of 799 for Philly, my guess. Again. Oliver Wallstrom, rookie uh, renditions. These are not numbered. Well, they have these still. Yeah, the old Aaron Ek Ekblad, the signature pucks. They've had these for years. Kind of cool cards. My guess are super thick. Uh, Nico Sturm for the Wild. Then we have uh, Noah Dobson for the Islanders, three fifty nine and four ninety nine. Rookie premieres, Islanders. David F. And Brady Keeper for Florida. Cody Glass. Uh, too bad that last one break. I know the breaker there would have liked this card. 772 to 799. For Vegas, Mike S. Victor Olofsson for Buffalo. Trent Frederick uh, card. These are really hard to see. 373 to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 799 for Boston. That is Aaron G. Ryan Poling for Montreal. Rookie Premiers, Noah Dobson, 405 at a 499 for the Islanders. David F. And there we go. That does it for box numero uno. Let's keep going. Is there some special Wayne cards in here or something? Is that why he's, he's gracing the front cover? And every pack. Wayne thought uh, he had a little article a couple days ago. Gretzky also believes that hockey will finish up its season in its playoffs this summer. So I'm not sure he probably knows. He's talking to him, I guess. He's in the know. Feel free to send me all the Vegas Opens. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Vegas fan, Andrew Johnson. Hopefully, uh, I know the news. I was watching the news when I was at work today because it's on TV all day. And... It's the mayor of Vegas says they she she uh, says she or whatever the matter that wants to open up Vegas and open the casinos, but they ask, "What's your plan?" And I don't have one. <laughs> just just to open them. I don't think that's gonna work right now. But I know everyone's itching to get back to it, but I don't know. We'll see. I guess history will will tell us if our choices were correct or not. All right, box number two, trilogy. Let's do it. Vitaly Abramov for Ottawa. A uh, little Cal Macker card for Colorado. Nice. Have roll that. Take that. By the way, we, we do not have any spots in this break, just so everyone knows. Alexander Texier for Columbus. Uh, Dante Fabro card 647 out of 799 for Nashville. Uh, Mike S. Makes a lot of spots. Zach Sension for Boston. Another Zach Sension numbered. Uh, 113 of 299. Aaron G. Stack number two. Ryan Lindgren for the Rangers. You got uh, Elvis Mers Lickens for Columbus. Card number 538 out of 799. Uh, for Columbus. Ryan T. Ilya Mikheyev of uh, Toronto. And we've got a little auto here. Kirby Dak for Chicago. 82 at a 199 for Chicago. Mike S. Uh, Nathan Bastion for the Devils. Oh, this is nice. A Macker level two uh, patch card. Uh, 14 out of 49. Colorado hitting good. Jason M. 
There it is. You right? Yeah. Ripping it? Oh. No. Oh. Just wondering. <laughs> Collect the all new rookie renditions insert set. Eh? Yeah, this is, this is the first trilogy we've done, isn't it? I think. Not ever. Of 1920. Yeah, because they didn't have the rookie renditions for it. Yeah, no, this is. Uh, I'm surprised. It took that long for us to actually get one done. Yeah, be careful there, Georges. There you go. So, anyways, everyone, again, this is a Trilogy 10 box break, H615. If you're coming here late, we did first, we did the um, Artifacts 10 box H550. That was done first. It's going to be within the same stream. So after the stream is over, uh, it's saved on our channel forever. And again, if you're here for an SPX break that was supposed to go up tonight, it's been moved to tomorrow evening at 6. And we have that discount code word of Batman. Uh, reason why it's Batman because he was talking hockey today that they think they're going to have a draft in June and have a four cities that all they can finish all their games off and have playoffs. So we'll see. All right. Good luck. Here we go. Uh, Guillaume Bisbois. Guillaume Bisbois. Guillaume. Should know French a little bit. I'm freaking Canadian. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Vancouver, Gilliam. Steven C. Another macro card. He's just m macking on the macro cards. 459, 799. Full Mac. High Mac, actually. Jason M. Carden Fulcher for Detroit. Oh, Teddy Bluger. A little auto. Uh, nice. Uh, 225, I think it says out of 399. Again, my eyes aren't so good. Uh, for um, Pittsburgh, Andy B. And Fabro for Nashville. Cody Glass for Vancouver, or Vancouver again. Vegas, my guess. You saying Vancouver? Uh, Vitaly Abramov, two twenty-six out of nine, nine, nine. Ottawa, my guess. Aleski Sarella for Chicago. Noah Dobson. Auto one forty four to three ninety nine for the Islanders. David F. Cole Sherwood, Columbus. Matt Murray uh, for the um, for Pittsburgh. A little patch card. Another Macker here. Rookie trilogy. Rookie renditions. Another one. Jeez. Uh, Jason, you're doing. Uh, you should be very happy. <coughs> Barrett Hayton for the Coyotes. Fifty six at two ninety nine. For Arizona, my guess. You've done well with that spot, Colorado. Almost every version of macro card you can get. All right, everybody. Open up some trilogy. Do, 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 do. So, guys, what's going on? I haven't seen you all day. What's going on? What's your name? Hey? No. No? Fill your car up with gas. Well, you paid for it. <laughs> Packs are a little, a little hard to open. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's do this. Philippe Myers, Myers for the Flyers. Carl Grundstrom, 110 and 999 for LA Kings, my guess. Libor Hajik for the Rangers. Uh, Taro Rose, 274 and 999 for Detroit, my guess. Thank you, Mike, again for all your purchases. That's helped get this break on its way. Rem Pitlick, Nashville. Tony Bluger, uh, card 322 out of 799 for uh, Pittsburgh, Andy B. Teddy Bluger again for Pittsburgh. Carlson Kuhlman for the Bruins, 344 out of 399, rookie auto for Boston, Aaron G. Ryan Lindgren for the Rangers. Oh, nice. Quinn Hughes, rookie premier's auto. I'm uh, sorry, auto patch card. 
Very nice. Numbered 77 on 499. I'm liking it for Vancouver. Stephen C. Maybe sign of times of more Hughes to show up. Uh, Mikheyev for Toronto. Oh, see, look. I told you. Another Quinn Hughes. Uh, rookie renditions card. 171 and a 799. There you go. I called it. For Stephen C. Usually when there's one, there's more. All right. There we go. All right, here we go. Box number five, everybody. Uh, do you guys know if Upper Deck has delayed? I believe they have. Um, it's no official word, I don't think, yet. I know looks like everything's being that was scheduled before has been bumped up a month. Like, for example, Ice was supposed to be out April 15th. The new day is now May 15th. So I guess, it, yeah, it's... It seems everything's been bumped up a month to me. Um, I've asked my distributors, and some say, yeah, no, it's on time. Some say, no, it's delayed. They don't accept pre-orders anymore on a lot of products, uh, distributors in Canada, because they just don't know. Pricing's kind of unknown. Like, there's, there's pricing, but there's kind of, will it go up, will it go down? You know, what's the demand going to be? It's crazy. Geez, when oil trades are below, is, what, below the negative, you know what I mean? Negative. You guys know that, right? Oil was negative yesterday. Right. Negative for per, per barrel. It used to be like 100 bucks a barrel. That shit was negative. It's a technicality in the way trading happens with futures and like contracts. I was reading about it because I didn't know anything about it. It's like It's funny. It's, it, it was negative. Like, like It was like negative money. So they pay you. It's a reason why because big companies have contracts and they, but they can't store it so they have to sell the contract and no one wants it because no one has the space to store the oil. There's like tankers sitting around the world full of oil. Really? Yep. Pre-COVID, we needed 100 million barrels a day mm. for the human race. Now we're at, it's at 75. Right. But they're still producing the same amount. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, interesting stuff. Max Jones for Anaheim. Mitch Marner, patch card. Thanks, trial. My guess. But anyways, yeah, it's, you know, it's weird. I had to look and learn about it. Carl Grunstrom, LA. Cody Glass. 220 at a 299 for Vegas. My guess. Yeah, never seen before. Uh, so it was in 1950 or something. It got down to $3 or something like that. Really? Yeah, that was like the lowest it ever was. Dante Fabro for Nashville. Yeah, crazy. Tony Bluger. 454.999 for Pittsburgh. Andy B. For a country like Canada, uh, especially a province like Alberta, is not good news. Nikita Gusev, New Jersey. Adam Fox for the Rangers. Brandon Gignac. Devils. Rem Pitlick. 156 at 799 for Nashville, I guess. Nick Suzuki, the future of Montreal, many say. Alexander Texier. 155 at 199. Auto card for Columbus. Nice one. Ryan T. And we didn't talk about it yesterday during the break, that good old Gronk, eh? Yes. We never talked about it yesterday. Gronkowski following his boyfriend. I say that right now. You know what I mean? So going to be with his buddy. It's pretty funny. Yeah, you call it. I called it. Yeah, you call it yeah. I said he's going to go there for sure. Yeah. Why not? Have some fun. He's only 30. I know. Like, I now he's like an old man. Old. I know, but still, he's Gronk. Why not? He's going to go there and have some fun, right? See if he can pull down another, you know, see what happens. First thing to play in Super Bowl Finals on their home turf, maybe. So Super Bowl is there next year? Yeah. If there is a Super Bowl next year. You don't know. I don't know. You never know. You don't, can't, you don't know. No one knows. Well, if it does happen, they're not going to move it around. Probably, so. No, but it could be played there with no fans. Oh, yeah. in the news, uh, Newcastle in the Premier League. Newcastle in the yeah, Premier League. Taking over, they got bought out. Okay. The new owner, it's the uh, Prince of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And supposedly his, his estimated worth himself is 260 billion. And like, he has like because no one knows who those guys are. Really right? No one knows what the, like the Prince of Saudi Arabia. The Prince of Saudi Arabia bought the so. team. Like yeah, and he's supposedly his. They're estimated like no one knows those guys. <laughs> no one knows his estimated like, value worth 260 billion. And the second place is the Man City guy. Yeah. Sheikh Mansur, he's 26 billion. 26 billion. Yeah, so so those guys got 10 times the amount of money. You were saying that he has, but he actually has probably more. 
because he's like he owns every like he basically yeah. owns everything because the, the family's estimated to be over a trillion. Holy so, mackerel! So, he's, so, he's, he's, so basically, he's, Newcastle is going to be the powerhouse, powerhouse of all Newcastle. soccer. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Rudolph vouchers for Ottawa. They're all old players now. They get this team want money. Oh, they're all going to cash out. Thirty out of four ninety nine. Nikita Gusev, the prince of Saudi Arabia, bought the team. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah, no one knows what those guys are worth, right? Because it's not, it's it's all it's all privately, it's private. Yeah, Riley Stillman. So his, yeah. Florida. That guy's is an estimate around two hundred sixty. Rasmus Sandin, one hundred twenty at two ninety nine. For the Maple Leafs. Mike well, S. Highest, but no one, but no one really knows. You can't, yeah. Jack Hughes, there's Quinn's brother. Yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Carl right? Gunstrom, L.A. Yeah, the overall the entire team. So the blue one here, we got uh, Ryan Lindgren, 363 out of 399 for the Rangers. Nice, my guess. There are rules, though. Yeah, so you can't fair play. Rasmus Sandin again for Toronto. Nico Sturm, 116 out of 299 for Minnesota, my guess. Dominic Kubalik for Chicago. Max Jones, Anaheim, 463 out of 499. My guess. Blake Lazote, yes. L.A. Oh, here's another one of the puck signature puck cards for Matt Murray for um, Pittsburgh, Andy B. There we go. There's another box down. 260, where he's a billion, eh? He's worth 260 times more than I am. <laughs> 260 is the power of I know what it is. Infinity. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So basically, he has a, he's, yeah, they have, well, anyway, yeah, 23 billion, too. Is unlimited. He's unlimited money. Unlimited amount of money. Unlimited yeah. amount of money. Yeah, it's silly money. But like, considering how good Man City got, just back out 26. With 26, but yeah. You know, the Prince of Black Rick, yeah, the owner of a <laughs> new uh, Premier League team. So he's bought it, whatever. Because they were always looking so, because their owner was a. No one liked their owner before. I think he's like a... He's sure. off season. He's total cheap guy, I think. Oh, he's total cheapy? Yeah, they don't want to ever spend any money on the team. They don't want to invest into the club or anything. So. Like Newcastle. Newcastle. There like, you go. Uh, man, he's like... Eighth or ninth on the list of richest owners. Richest owners, yeah. Wow. Blazers. They have like... Eight billion, I think. <sighs> Adam Fox with Rangers. Caden Fulker. 55, 554 of 799. Detroit. My guess. So Ryan Kuffner for Detroit. Another Detroit hit. Oliver Wallstrom. Uh, 104 of 299 for the Isle. David F. Elvis again. Merz Lickens for Columbus. Vitaly Ibramov. Uh, 145 out of 499 for Ottawa. My guess. Stack number two here. Capo Caco, Rangers, another one of the big ones. Zach Hyman, Auto Pucks for Toronto. Mike S, there you go, nice hit. Carlson Kuhlman for Boston. Matt Dumba for Minnesota, patch card. Max Verano for Ottawa, rookie card. And then uh, Mikheyev, Ilya Mikheyev for Toronto, 64 out of 399. Mike S. And that's that box and done and complete. Three boxes left, everybody. In 1920 Upper Deck Trilogy, 10 box break, H615. 615. We do have a couple more of these available on the Ebays and the internet and the websites. The website is chamaxcards at gmail.com. Got my discount code, Batman. Use it. Tomorrow's discount code will be Horseshot. <laughs> I promised uh, Peter that I'd use it. I think tomorrow's hockey again, so I said it would be for a hockey break. Because usually the discount code matches the sport we're doing. Something like, something to do with it anyways. Past, present, future. That's why usually when we do these batch breaks, do two, well, they'll be the same sport. Usually I won't mix hockey and football or something like that together, usually. All right, good luck. This is going to be box number eight. 
Nathan Bastion for the Devils. We have oh another Capo Caco, 880 at a 999. Capo Caco. Mike S, another one of the big rookies. Uh, Vitaly Ibramov for Ottawa. Zach Senshin, auto, 209 at a 399 for Boston. Aaron G, also good Boston hits. Ilya Mikheyev for the Maple Leafs, 313 at 999 for T.O., Mike S. Texe for Columbus. Nathan Bastion for the Devils, 133 at a 799. Uh, that's my guess. Zach Sension for Boston. Taro Hirose, auto card, nice. And number 221 and a 399 for Detroit. My guess, another nice hit. Philip Zena for Detroit. Guillaume Bisbois, patch card for uh, Vancouver. Uh, Barrett Hayton for Arizona. Oh, rookie premieres, uh, Kirby Dak, 148, a 999 for Chicago, my guess. And that will do it for box number eight. So getting down to the end here, everybody. And then we'll be back tomorrow, breaking more. Trilogy, eh? We have some SP game use coming up still. We have more SPX coming up this week. We have the cup coming up this week. A lot of stuff. Lots of different years. If you do like uh, hockey, like I said, we got breaks going all the way back from 13, 14, cup, all the way up to the new stuff, all different years, different, different um, upper deck products. Again, we do schedule the breaks in when we get under five. When we do, we get under five. We audit the breaks to make sure we truly are under five. And if we are, uh, you get an email with the date and time. And away we go. All right, box number nine. Joey Decord um, for Ottawa. Joel Farabee. Uh, this is a card. 28 out of 49 for Philly. Mike S. Patch card. Put that there. Put that there. Eric Brandstrom for Ottawa. Dante Fabro for Nashville. 90 out of 299. Mike S. Zach McEwen for Vancouver. Thomas Hurdle for San Jose. I think maybe the first San Jose card we've had. Blake Lizotte again. This is a lower numbered 160 out of 399 for LA. Mike S. Noah Dobson for the Islanders. Noah Dobson again for the Islanders. Numbered in 234 and 799. A lot of Dobson, David F. Jimmy Schultz for Vegas. Cole Sherwood for Columbus, 789 uh, and 799. Ryan T. And uh, Quinn Hughes, there you go. I like it. Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Rasmus Sandin, this is cool. Um, six out of 49. This guy's auto there with Go Leafs. For Toronto. Nice little hit there from Mike S. Good one. And everyone, that brings us to the final box. Box number 10. H6. <clears throat> Use my voice here. 615. H615. -er. Bam. All right. Last box coming at you. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out with us. Again, we did have that other break first. We had the Artifacts 1920 Artifacts break. H550 was first. This was second. In case you're looking for that break. Any questions, comments, as always, chamaxcards, gmail.com. Like I was saying earlier, usually, I usually check them on days I'm working in a day. I'll check them usually um, once at night, and I'll answer most of, the, most of them at night, uh, just so you know. I don't have time to answer all of them during the day. And same with the eBay questions. I usually get them in one big batch on days I work at night. Just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. And then the days I don't work, I usually, about three or four times a day, we get to them. Just so you know. Okay, box number 10. Fleet Myers for the Flyers. Myers for the Flyers. Uh, Nico Eshire, patch card for the Devils. 
Libor Hajik for the Rangers. Victor Olofsson for Buffalo. 117 out of 399. Mike S. Uh, Rem Pitlick for Nashville. And Rudolph Bouchers. 773 out of 79. 799 for Ottawa. Mike S. Teddy Bluger. Pittsburgh. We have Nikita Gusev for 71 and 499 for New Jersey. My guess. Getting down the last few, everybody. Tara Hirose for Detroit. Ryan Lindgren uh, for the Rangers. 40 out of 799 for the Rangers. My guess. Uh, Mackenzie McEachern, St. Louis. Oh, that's kind of a nice way to end here. Uh, Dennis Potvin, Stanley Cup champions. It's kind of neat. For the Islanders, I like that. Very cool. Good way to end the break. David F. And that does end the break because this is the last card. And there we go, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us, spending some time with us for the last hour and a bit. We'll be back tomorrow. Again, have a great evening, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And like I said, yeah, hopefully the light in the tunnel here for us coming up soon. Besides that, have a great evening, everyone. Talk to you soon.